So now that we have the list of items, it's time to actually see one individual item itself on its own view. Now, of course, long term, that's what you would do. You would have a list of posts and then you'd have to see the individual post itself. So that's what we'll do here. And if we jump into our views.py, I'm going to import from our shortcuts. It's going to be git object or 404. Now, what this method does is it actually looks for the object that's related to some sort of call. So we're going to be using the post model and then we're going to be using some sort of field in there that we can use a git call with. So there's a couple ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you before using the convenience method would be to say instance equals to post dot objects dot git and we'll say ID equals to three. Right. So this is a git call. This could run some errors um, here if it doesn't exist. Right. So let's actually see that in action. I'm going to say git ID equals to one. And the reason I know ID equals to one doesn't work is because in our list, um, the first ID there is three because we probably deleted some into testing or whatever. So the first ID is three. So now let's go ahead and jump into the detail where it's one. We get this error. This is a exception that is raised saying does not exist at post detail. So that's that's a problem. We, we want to over overcome this easily. And Django provides a convenience method for us to do that. So this is a type of querying to the database that we can use and you probably will use in other in other uh, places. But for now, we're not going to use that. Instead, we're going to comment this out and say instance equals to get object or 404 and we'll say post and then ID equals to one. OK, so we're keeping the same one going. And now if I refresh in here, it now says a standard page not found error. This is not really an error. This is just a 404 page that you've seen probably in other sites before. You go to any site and you make up some URL, it will probably give you a 404 page just like this. But since we're testing, it looks like an error page as well, but it's not. As it says, it says no post matches given query. So if we go back in here and change it to three, I refresh now and it says details working. Of course, we don't have any information about detail um, on that specific page, but the detail is working, or at least everything in this function based view is working. So you might be wondering now is like, well, how do we do these queries, right? I have this ID, but maybe I don't want to look up by ID. So to do this, you just can go by any field that's inside of the model itself. Now, of course, ID is one of those auto generating fields, so you don't have to do ID. But you could do title. You could do title is equal to some sort of title. So let's actually do that. Um, and we're going to get that title from here. So I'm just going to copy the ABC title or title ABC. And I'll just say title equals to the string title ABC. So I save this and I go into detail again. And it's still working, right? So if I got rid of that last C on there and refreshed, it would not work, right? Um, so that's kind of how you would use this and it's very similar. So this is what we just did right here. The git call or at least this part of it would also work with the objects.git. Cool. So let's go back to ID equaling to three and we're just going to update our template a little bit. I'm going to refresh in here. See details working. Instead of using index.html, I'm going to use post underscore detail.html. So as you see here, I actually just created a brand new file called post detail. So inside of our templates, we're going to go in here and do new file and you're going to call it post detail, which I've already created. And all I did really was actually, let's go ahead and do it. I'm going to go into the index here, copy this, go into post detail, save that. And we're going to just change a few things here. I'm going to get rid of this for loop and I'll explain why in just a second. And then we'll go back into our view and we're going to add the instance into our context. I'll, I'll re-explain what I just did in just a moment. Okay, cool. So now that we've got this, our now context variable in here should be instance instead of object. So we'll just come through here and just change this all. And then also down here in title, I'm going to call this instance.title. And then in post detail, I'm just going to say title. There we go. We save that. Come back in here, refresh. Now we've got our post detail in here. So this is actually showing a detail of that specific post. Now, of course, back in our view, if we change this to being four and refresh in here, it's going to change the post itself as well. Um, so that's kind of the dynamics of here. 
So what we did was, is we first off get the instance by querying the database based off of this query, right? So the ID equals the four, that's the query. And then the post is the model that we're looking for. Of course, this can be used on any other models. And then our context, we added the context variable instance. So we could then use inside of our post detail, we could use all that data from instance. So back in the index, if you remember how this worked, we looped through the object list, which was a list of instances. And then we just basically did the exact same thing in there. Cool. Um, so that is all we're going to do here with the post detail. Now, what you might be wondering, and hopefully what you're wondering is like, how does this, how do we dynamically make a URL that's going to change how our query works? There's definitely a way to do that. And it's fairly simple, but it has everything to do with our URLs and URL routing. It has, it has less to do with the, the view than it does with the URL routing. Because if I added something in here like one, um, we should be able to see something that's related to that. Of course, right now it's saying a page not found because we don't have a URL that matches it, but we do want to have something that actually matches that and shows an individual post based off of something in the URL. So we're going to leave it at that. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.